What is your preferred method for administering testosterone to women? I prefer a cream. Um, I, you know, I think prescribing tests. I, so I do also prescribe testim, uh, which is an oil. Um, and that's where I will sort of like get receivable packets. I'll put it into a empty syringe and that syringe, um, uh, the kind that we give our children Tylenol with, not an actual uh, n needle syringe. Yep, yep. But um, And so, and then you can administer 0.5 cc's and rub it on the inner thigh is my favorite place to do it. I do a lot of um, compounding cream. I use Koshlin Pharmacy. They have a pretty standard, like well-mixed formula and I'll sort of use, um, I'll prescribe a testosterone cream where the patient will use a pump a day when they get out of the shower, they'll let it dry for 20 minutes and then they can put on their, get sort of get dressed. Do you think the oil is more efficacious and consistent in its absorption? than the cream? I don't. Um, I find sort of when, and, and I do try, I do follow labs um, when prescribing testosterone. So anecdotally and from a lab perspective, I don't find a difference. I'm interested in what you say. I sort of go based, up, based more on patient preference. If they want an FDA approved product, although it's not FDA approved for women, for that, yeah then we'll go ahead and use the test him. If they don't, I much prefer to just compound it. It's it's cleaner, it's less messy, it's easier to dose. Um, there's so many um, dosing issues with the oil in terms of how we dispense it when it's not dispense, you know, supposed to be dispensed for women that I much prefer the cream. How about you? Uh, we use a cream more typically. 